Respiratory system. Respiration is simply defined as process of exchange of gases, BLW, body tissues and external environment. Cells of our body continuously use oxygen for the metabolic reactions in which energy is released from nutrient molecules AATP produces. Now during these metabolic reactions, zero also released that must be excreted out from body. The supply of O2 excretion of CO2 occurs only through respiration A. The system that performs respiration is called respiratory system. Here the demonstration of the respiratory tract is given. Lungs alveoli bronchus. Stages of respiration There are basically three stages of respiration. 1. Breathing, ventilation 2. Internal respiration 3. Cellular respiration breathing definition. It is simply defined as the exchange of gases blue environment lungs. Internal respiration it is simply defined as exchange of goes between lungs blood cellular respiration it is simply defined as exchange of gases between blood body hoves cells types of respiration there can be two types of respiration 1. Occurs in the presence of oxygen as aerobic respiration 2. Occurs in absence of oxygen anaerobic respiration 1. Aerobic respiration it always releases carbon dioxide where this process produces much more energy. 2. Anaerobic respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen, may or may not produces less energy. Organs of respiratory system Respiratory system consists of following parts, nose and nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchites, lungs, nose, nasal cavity. The respiratory pathway begins from nose cavity of nose is known as nasal cavity. Nasal cavity is divided into right and left portions by the nasal septum. They contain small hairs that act as a filter for plus the anterior portion of nasal chamber is known as nasal vestibule. Functions of the respiratory tract. A. Allows us to enter into your body. B. Filters cleans. ALS provides a sense of smell. C. It also acts as an air conditioner. 2. PHARYNX. It is the common pathway for respiratory tract and gastrointestinal tract. It about 12 cm long. It is further divided into three parts. 1. Nasopharynx 2. Oropharynx functions of pharynx. 8. Helps in movement of food to esophag B. Pharynx amplifies the sound produced by larynx. Lymphoid fissures present in pharynx act as a first-line defense against foreign pathogens. It is the pathway for air, food liquid. 3. Lynx it lies BLW pharynx A. Tracheo. It is made up of following cartilages A. Thyroid cartilage B. Cricoid cartilage C. Artenoid cablage. It contains epiglottis that makes sure that food must be ester into esophagus instead of trachea. Functions of larynx Larynx produces sound, hence also known as sound box. Larynx don't play any role in respiration but acts as a pathway for or epiglots prevents food from entering into trachea. 4. Trachea It is a cylindrical tube-like structure which is 12 cm long and 2.5 cm in diameter. It begins at lower end of pharynx. Eyes made up of 16 to 20 shaped incomplete rings. It is made up of hyaline cartilage. Functions of trachea. It provides a clear pathway for air to enter exit lungs. Sma hairs are present in the inner walls of trachea that calcius dust other impurities from inhaled air 5. Bronchi the fashion ends up by dividing into two bronchi, bronchus named night tell bronchi. They further passes into the corresponding lungs. The light bronchus is shorter wider than less functions of bronchus. It connects windpipe with lungs. It allows air to pass into lungs. 6. Bronchioles bronchi of lungs further divided into smaller branches known as bronchioles bronchioles don't have cartilage. They are lined by cuboidal epithelium. Functions of bronchioles. Bronchioles end up to form alveoli hence plays a major role in pathway of oxygen to the tissue. 7. Alveoli alveoli are known as functional unit of lungs a constant of small hollow area for gaseous exchange. They are lined by simple squamous epithelium that serves for gaseous exchange. There are approximately 300 million alveoli present in lungs. They are rich in blood supply. They contain two types of cells. A nemocytes b alveolar macrophages functions of alveoli. Alveoli is site where exchange of oxygen carbon dioxide occurs during the process of breathing. Once the blood receives oxygen, it further transfers it to all the cells of our body. Lungs Lungs are the principal organ of respiration. The lungs are pair of spongy ads filled cone-shaped organ located on either side of chest. They are present in pair that is left lung and right lung. 
Lungs are covered by a double membrane known as pleural membranes. Outer membrane, parietal pleural inner membrane, visceral pleural between both the membranes a fluid is present known as pleural fluid. The left lung is slightly smaller than right lung. Right lung has three lobes while left lung has only two lobes. Surfaces of lungs The lungs can be divided into four ports. Apex, narrow supernose portion, broad inferior portine, base, blood inferior portion. Costal, surface against ribs, surface, lateral boundary of mediastinum lobes of lungs in each side contains different number of lobes. Lobes of right lung. Right lung is subdivided into three lobes. A superior lobe, B middle lobe, C inferior lobe, left lung. Left lung is subdivided into two lobes. A superior lobe, B inferior lobe, mechanism of respiration. Mechanism of respiration involves two major steps. A breathing mechanism B exchange of gases mechanism The breathing mechanism involves two major process. A. The process in which air moves in and out of the lungs is known as breathing. A. Inspiration B. Expiration B. Inspiration. The process of intake of intake of atmospheric air is simply in this process air moves from atmosphere to lungs. The process is also known as inhalation known as inspiration. It is an active process. Muscles involved in inspiration, two types of muscles mainly involved in inspiration. 1. Diaphragm 2. External intercostal muscles inspiration mechanism 1. Contraction of diaphragm muscle 2. Enlargement of thoracic corti 3. Decrease in pressure inside thoracic cavity 4. And filling of air inside the lungs. Expiration the process in which the air moves from lungs to the atmosphere is known as expiration. It is a passive process, doesn't require energy, it is also known as exhalation. Expiration mechanism 1. Relaxament of diaphragm muscles 2. Decrease in volume of thoracic cavity 3. Increase in pressure inside thoracic cavity 4. An exhalation of air. Exchange of gauges The gaseous exchange occurs in alveoli of lungs. It depends upon pressure difference blue blood A ass over. Exchange of gases takes place in following months. A. Transport of oxygen B. Cellular respiration C. Transport of carbon dioxide Transport of oxygen When ose is transferred from alveoli to blood then it is calmed by hemoglobin then it is further transported to cells for cellular respiration. Cellular respiration The oxygen received by the cell is further used for the process of cellular respiration in which cells uses O's to break down the glucose into carbon dioxide Energy should be produced transport of CO2. Now carbon dioxide is a waste product hence it is further transferred from cells to blood then blood to lungs and then final dex hold out. Lung volumes long volumes are also known of respiratory volumes. It refers to the volume of gas in the lungs at a given time. There are various types of lung volumes. 1. Tidal volume 2. Inspiratory reserve volume 3. Expiratory reserve volume 4. Residual volume 1. Tidal volume it is simply defined on amount of our inhaled or exhaled during its value is about 600 milliliters normal breath. 2. Inspiratory reserve volume. It is the maximum amount of ALS inhaled by a deep inspiration process. It's about 2500 to 3000 milliliters. 3. Expiratory reserve volume it is simply defined as maximum amount of air exhaled by a deep expiration process. It's about 1000, 1200 milliliter 4. Residual volume it is the amount of hours that remains inside lungs after forceful exhalation. 1200 to 1500 milliliters LUNG capacity lung capacities are derived from summation of different lung volumes they are also of different types. 1. Total lung capacity 2. Vital capacity 3. Expiratory capacity 4. Residual capacity 5. Inspiratory capacity 1. Total lung capacity, total volume of air that person can hold in its lungs after a fund inhalation sum of all volumes. Male minus 6000 milliliters, female minus 14500 milliliters 2. Vital capacity, it is amount of ons that a person move in out. Sum of tidal volume, inspiratory reserve volume, expiratory reserve volume. 3. Inspiratory capacity, amount of air that can be inhaled after tidal volume, expiration. Sum of tidal volume inspiratory reserve volume. 4. Expiratory capacity. It is simply amount of air exhaled by a person. 5. Residual capacity amount of a remains after a normal today expiration. Sum of expiratory reserve volume and residual volume.